Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Today we are going to discuss about one more business requirement. In other words, we can say that we are doing some enhancements as per the customer requirement. It's because the customer requirements is not fulfilled the standard SAP design. So we are going to enhance the standard functionality so here the business expecting is that they want to determine different item category into sales order okay so first of all before going to understand what are the criteria business wants to or in which scenarios business wants to determine the item category into sales order let's go through the few basics about item category determination we know that item category will be determined based on sales document type item category group item usage higher level item category the t code to see the controls in item category is vivo b7 and the t code to maintain the item category determination config is vivo v4 the backend database table which will store the vivo v7 controls are tv ap the table which will store backend data of item category controls similar way the vivo v4 config can be stored in in t184 table so remember these basic things then only we can write the fs i mean the functional specification and share it with abap team Okay, so Vivo V7 is to maintain is where we see that the controls in the item category. Vivo V4 to determine that uh, item category determination, and TVAP is the backend database table which will store that Vivo V7 uh, item category controls, and a Vivo V4 config will be stored in T184 table. So if there is no config maintained in Vivo V4, then item category won't be determined into sales order and coming to this item category group item category group will be determined from so it will be determined from material master Metal master sales arg to view. Coming to item usage, item usage will be determined from standard code only. There is no where item usage will be stored. In CMIR material customer material info record, we have item usage control, but still, in addition to that. There is only one place that is standard code only can determine the item usage based on certain parameters. Therefore, item usage will be determined from standard code only, and the FM which will be used FM to get item usage data is SD underscore VBAP underscore VW pass underscore get. Uh, I have already published video on uh, this FM. I will provide the link in the description. Please go through that. Right. And coming to the technical field of this item category determinations. Sales document type is uh, AUART. 
एटम कैटेगरी ग्रुप डी सब एम टी पास आइटम यूसेज इट्स वी डब्ल्यू पास एंड हाईर लेवल आइटम कैटेगरी इज UEP ST. Right. So, based on these parameters only, item category will be determined. Right. Now, business saying that, for example, I have a product called uh, material here is that is one five one five A B. B12. Okay, so business saying that this material business saying that this material should be determined for a sales document types or for the sales area and sold to ship to combination. The item category should be determined as TAS. Okay, for the same material for different sales areas. There should be ten. Okay, so they want to use different item category for the same material under the same sales area or different sales area. Okay, with the combination of plant as well, they want to determine different item category. Right, as per standard behavior, the item category will be determined based on. These four parameters: sales document type, item category group, item usage, and higher level item category. And this is a global config. That means it will be applicable to all the sales document types, item category group, item usage, and higher level item category. So this item category config is not controlled for sales area wise, or sold to ship to customer wise, or material wise, or plant wise, right? In order to determine the required item category for the same material for different sales areas or uh, different sold to ship to customers then we should develop one custom table based on the parameters defined by business if you see here business stating that for uh, sales area vkorg vtwg spart and uh, for sales document type auart and uh, sold to customer ship to customer matner works these combinations so whenever any any entry maintained for any of the customer or sales document type combination i want tas if there is no entry maintained then as per standard behavior tan should be determined right so this is what they are proposing here so in this case what we can do in a custom table we can add all the fields which are requested by business in addition to that We can add one more field called VW pass. VW pass is nothing but, as I mentioned earlier, it's an item usage. Now remember that all the field in this table are primary key except VW pass because we are going to retrieve VW pass based on its parameters only. So these are unique. VW pass is not an unique parameter, right? So we are going to retrieve VW pass only, right? After getting this uh, VW pass, right? So custom table has been developed and uh, And it is a business maintainable table. That means business can directly maintain an entry to this table in production system. To do that, we should provide an authorization object to that custom table and develop a T code. Either it might be a custom T code with the custom report to add entry to this table, or we can develop a SM30 maintenance view to this table and provide access to that. Table maintenance. Therefore, we need to assign authorization object and roles to that table. Therefore, then only unauthorized access to this table can be avoided. If if we don't assign any roles or authorization object to that table, then anyone can use it, which will be problem actually. It should be misleading data will be added to the table, right? So we shouldn't do like that. It should be provided to the relevant people only. Okay, now we have developed this table. Now what we can do? We need to write some custom logic. Where we can write that? The logic can be added in the include MV forty five AF ZB. In this include, we have a 
there is one user exit user exit source determination so in this user, user exit we can determine the vw pass value not only vw pass value in this user exit only we can determine plant storage location as per our requirement so our main intention as part of this enhancement is that whenever this this parameter has been met for example this table has a uh, one entry uh, let's say they have maintained pkorg equal to nx03 and vtweg equal to 04 and uh, spot is 02 and auart equal to or nr equal to 12345 kvnag also 12345 and uh, matner right so material is 15a bd something like that and uh, works plant means um, double six double seven okay so whenever this parameter has been maintained okay when we try to create an order for this combination then system what it will do it will take the item usage maintained in this custom table for example we have maintained item usage as jdbb for example okay we have maintained as item usage has been jdbb right so with the help of this custom code we are validating the entry in this table if we if we get any entry in this custom table then we are updating vw pass as jdbb that's it this is the one thing so custom table should be developed then custom code should be written to validate the entries in the custom table to get the vw pass right once everything is done then how system will get the task here right so to do that we need to maintain some config in vivo v4 that is uh, for example here we are to use it is o right o item category item category group right? item category group might be norm item usage should be a dbb and item high level item category group should be blank here nothing right then finally system will determine as so we have maintained config in vov4 that is t184 table as tas right so this combination has been met so tas will be determined into sales order if it is not met then system simply what it system what it will do system simply get this combination only norm and the dbb so there is no item usage will be determined here so that is blank again there is no higher level item category also will be determined so then in this case tan will be maintained as in t184 or vov4 config that means this combination has been maintained means tan will be determined if this is means tan will be determined this is how it works right our intention here is to update the vw pass value item usage value later item category determination should be maintained by us only custom table development custom code determination and config changes to determine the item category based on this combination hope this video will be very helpful to you please share your feedback and do subscribe to my channel thank you everyone